Can a body survive if the heart is taken from it? So he decided to go out 
and search for his soul? Not the child made an excuse to his mom and said that he had wanted to go for pilgrimage. The queen mom didn't oppose a new town in the story, a voyage in search for soul, a voyage to rescue a girl who had become simply a commodity. <clears throat> of Mohua now. Oh fisherman, have you seen my Mohua? Mohua? Which Mohua you are talking about? The one who was raped few years ago in the wood, 
or the one who was sent to her father's house for glory. What a strange land it is. All murderers are either raped or sent to their father's house for glory. All murderers are commodity to entertain patriarchal world. Does anyone know where our Mohua lives? Yes, I know. This Mohua lives every direction. Well, I am Juliet Mahapila, a poet and social campaigner. I can see thousands of women across all the directions. So, reflecting on thousands of miles, and I know of this Mohoa. So come to Europe, this Mohoa prize, and come to Africa, this Mohoa cries and is constrained. Come to Latin America, this Mohoa cries and is constrained. Go, Noda Chan, in every direction, you will definitely reach your dark destination. Breaking the silence of Africa, breaking the silence of Asia, and breaking the silence of Europe, breaking the silence of the people of Latin, breaking the silence of Europe, breaking the silence of Africa, breaking the silence of Asia, breaking the silence of Europe. Breaking the silence of love, breaking the silence of Argentina, breaking and breaking the silence for the people of the world. Kishmir Goya.
Search. He was lying on the bank of a river. Whom Rabuddha just saw him from a remote distance and immediately went home and gave Mahua a sharp knife with Vishalakha poison at the sharpened edge of the knife. Whom Rabuddha asked Mahua to go and kill Nodar Chand who was sleeping under the tree by the river. So see how the patriarchy works. It tends to kill all prospective hope for women. It tends to kill all prospective hope for women. But see, but not by, not by its own hand, rather by the victim's hand so that it can stay safe and blame can go to the victims again. নদীর পারে হিজল গাতার বিছানা ওই নদীর পারে হিজল Oh, 
পালিলাম তোরে কত দুঃখ করি কথা রাখ মোর তুই বহুয়া সুন্দরী আমার কথা রাখ তুই মহুয়া সুন্দরী হিন্দেশি দুশ্মন সেই সাধু মন্ত্র জানে আশানে বান্ধিয়া গিয়া বসিল শিওরে নিদ্রা যায় নৈতার ঠাকুর নদীর পারে
Her fostering dad wants to kill the one who is more than soul to her. She can rather kill herself. So now, Noida Thakur woke up. Oh, 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 oh. 
his chest for Mohua to stand. How can Mohua do this? So they decided to flee away riding a horse by the river. <clears throat> His boat was throwing, was flowing through the river. Mohua called for help. Marchant's eyes were captivated and snared by the beauty of Mohua. <laughs> Thank you. 
He wasn't there just to help a helpless woman. He's a merchant. He always needs one's exchange. So merchant asked his boatman to throw Nodya Chant out, out of his boat secretly. Nodya Chant was now fighting for life in the water of the river. And thankfully, there were no obstacles at all. So community Mohua can entertain the merchant forever. <laughs> oh merchant, oh people of the world, don't be fooled by thinking that women are so weak and so fragile. Don't forget that women are source of energy. Devi Kali in Hindu myth is the nucleus of energy and inject energy to every being. So once a woman begins to sparkle, begin to be inspired, she can fire up the whole world. She can shake the whole world, whole universe, almost like she tosses her hair. Mohua killed the merchant when he, came, when he came to force her. So she rescued almost dying of the chant. She starts treating not the chant to cure with all of her love and care. But see, this is the fate of every woman in the world. Luck never comes automatically they have to fight every day they fight against obnoxious patriarchy every day they fight against the commodification in the capitalist world and growing patriarchy bestows on them so now a saint in the jungle saw her and came to have her with his carnal desire <clears throat> Muni bole konna tumi shona diya mo. Muni bole konna tumi shona diya mo. Thank you. 
to know how to kill her beloved husband, not the chant. And then she fled away from this corrupted jungle. Eventually, with her love and care, Mohua killed Nodda Chant. Fortune smiled at her forehead. एक दो तीन कोड़ी छोर माश के लो भला हो या मुद्दार ठाकुर रूठिया बोशीलो जोड़नार जोला ने कोना आने बोनेर को ताखाईया नुद्दार चंदे गाए हुई लो How wonderful it would be if I could and here, but it didn't. Komra Buddha was fiercely searching for them, soon they fled away. And he found them out in that jungle one evening and caught them immediately. Kanezo di basa tonna, amar kota doro. Bisho lo kir suri dia, dusmo na ne maro. Amar palo putro shuzur khelwa. Dia tari koru tumi. Salo bodi shat. So Humra Buddha again gave her the knife with prison to kill not the charm. Ladies and gentlemen, do you find clue here? Humra doesn't want to kill. Humra doesn't want to kill Nointa Chan by his own hand. So as if for Mohua to kill Nointa Chan or kill herself. So guess Guess what is going to happen now? Remember who sacrificed the most for the civilization to continue in the history? Who sacrifices the most in any war of human history? <laughs> Mogwa realizes all of a sudden she was just a commodity. She was needed because she was an easy option to be abused. If she kills not the child, according to what Humra Buddha is asking, forcing her to do, she has to continue with this commodified life without change. But if not the child lives in the consequence, lives with the consequence of her sacrifice, he can perhaps bring changes. He can perhaps resist the expansion of Homra and protect all other Mohuas in future. So look what she's doing now.
kill Humra so that new age emerges after evil is killed forever. You all are not the child now. Duty is upon your hand. Those who agree, please come and join me in killing Humra. <laughs> Many, many, many thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Before I introduce my truth, I would like to let you know about some of our events, wonderful events happening in this city. One is Tagore in the Light of Rembrandt. Perhaps most of you are familiar with this great painter. Uh, his 35th death anniversary is this year. So as part of his celebrating or observing his death anniversary, we are trying to explore Tagore as many ways it is possible. So we, a photography session is happening from 2nd December to 6th December. Most of the Tagore's fictional and real characters will be depicted, will be photographed by some models, exactly in the way of Rembrandt's photograph uh, painting style. And then more insight of this event, of these photographies will be given on 4th of December, Wednesday, in Nehru Center. Uh, uh, and that will be part of Tagore's sublime singing, sublime uh, lyrics, singing of sublime lyrics, and poetry, talk, and definitely exhibition. So please come. And that is in Nehru Center, 4th December, at quarter past six. And this, this is a very popular uh, ballad or palagan for Bengali opera. We staged here last year. Those who missed is a class struggle, a critically acclaimed uh, palagan. It uh, received standing ovation before and with uh, sold out shows in Leeds here in Richmond. It visited Cardiff and it will visit some wonderful venues next year. So this is happening uh, 7th of December, the Bedebe Joshua, the class conflict, is touring to University of London, Suez. Most of you perhaps go to this beautiful venue. So the 6th, uh, 7th of December, Saturday at 6 p.m. So please come and join us there. And please put your hands together for these two wonderful technicians, Monty, and Ferdinando, who work relentlessly. <laughs> would like to join. Uh, this script, Mohua Pala, we have actually reshaped, reconstructed. And perhaps some of you are familiar with Jack Derrida's terminology, deconstruction. We try to deconstruct these myths and fairy tales uh, just to convey some message of modernity. So in scripting and directing, uh, the lady who, who kindly agreed and sh uh, for her lots of efforts, especially in scripting and directing, Vidushi Chandra Chakravartiji, who is the finest Indian classical vocalist in the West. This is an honor for me uh, uh, to work with her. I would like to invite her on the stage. So many thanks. Uh, if I, I would like to invite all of our crews, Shamim Shahan, Saida Nazdeen, Sultana Shikha, Olu, Rahel Chaudhary, right. So these wonderful people, were the true architect of this production. Let me start with uh, Shamim Shahan. Shamim Shahan is a very good friend of mine, an editor of Grunthi, a literary, South Asian literary magazine, and also a poet, uh, assistant director of this production. <laughs> These two wonderful ladies who portrayed a Bengali traditional uh, for Damai dance. Those who are from serious theater, theater background, they might have so many questions. We didn't try, we didn't try to uh, uh, project the reality. We projected reality, artificial reality in our own way. So you may find why this, those who will think from realistic point of view, why these colors are here, why they look so stunning, because we tried to portray the color of the land where this palagan 
Yvonne Frost. And this gentleman, can, can anyone recognize him? Can anyone recognize him? Right, okay. <laughs> he's, he's the head of oncologists. He has the head of consultants, uh, especially specialized in oncology, and also the finest tago singer here in UK. And kindly uh, did a huge justice to this role. So, so Ahmed, uh, our costume director, our support, our great supporter, those perhaps is very familiar with all of you. Uh, uh, folk dancer, a great supporter of Radha Hood Society, and a very dear brother to me. Uh, Sonia Sultana, one of the major architects of this production. Sonia Sultana is the is the founder of Sonia's Fusion. She mainly a dancer, but obviously she uh, she is an actor as well. Uh, she choreographed so many pieces of dance. Kajina Jun Islam, uh, Moinka, Moinka, but she doesn't he doesn't look like a Moinka. <laughs> and and uh, Kajina Jun Islam is mainly a software engineer and also a drama secretary of a local community drama group called Shantesh and Performing Arts. These two uh, little angels, Nundini and Peroda, and many thanks from my side. Thanks to the wonderful little angels. Daniel Choudhury, a model, and a very famous model while he was in Bangladesh, and a, a, a great fan, a great admirer of Bengali folk music. Our assistant director, and also the one who worked tirelessly to uh, make this production come in the way it comes, actually, in, in the way it does shine the So then, Ajit Sultana, she can't she didn't introduce her because she is based and she's in East London. She organized so many things in East London. She's the founder of Nari Chetana and Nobushu Japan Polishad that that is coming uh, to East London for 14th year now. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your question in the front. Abu Bakr Farkashad is a local East Londoner, East London based Farkashadist. Please put your hands together. A very talented Tobla player. Uh, I think 80% or 90% of the audiences. And those who come regularly to our event is very familiar, Piyash Borua. <laughs> and anything I will say will be less than how you did. You see? Please do the big Pritom, we got the certificate from so many wonderful uh, audiences yesterday that. Uh, and a very talented toddler, uh, keyboard player. Ladies and gentlemen, many, many thanks for joining. If you have any question, please do. It's, it's Shamjukta Ghosh here. Yeah. Please, uh, yeah. If you have any question, we can uh, answer. But if you don't, then I would like to invite one of my guests uh, uh, the, from Suez, Dr. Shamjukta Ghosh. Have you got any question? Okay. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, before we go to Shamjukta, uh, I'm missing two great performers, <laughs> Juliet Makafila and Gaby Sambusi. Wow. <laughs> She is a British Canadian campaigner of social justice, a poet, and Gaby is mainly an Argentine poet. Thank you very much. Dr. Shanjukta Ghosh, if you. Bonjour, Bashta. 
Uh, I would like to introduce another wonderful man came from uh, West Bengal, uh, Dr. Professor Monjubhash Mitra, a great poet, a critic, and a critic. Thank you so much for firstly inviting me and um, secondly for a lovely performance which I just sat there and I really felt that I had been transported to that village banyan tree under which the various forms of pala theater and rural folk theater I mean we are still sort of struggling to uh, understand many of the words and the songs the notes uh, the movements, everything was sort of compiled in a way that made you feel that we are really in that experimental mode of, you know, art where we are looking at Jatra as a form and how we can still explore through various scripts and texts and the oral tradition behind this kind of rural theatre. So um, we are doing something similar in SOAS. Um, where I'm the uh, honorary artistic director in the institute and uh, looking at ways of conveying these various forms of rural theater beyond <coughs> its language frame and yet experimenting with language in a way that those who don't understand Bengali can get to the deeper roots and understanding of how certain forms of theater can be transferred and transmitted. So please do come uh, on the 7th of December, that's a Saturday, for the performance Bede Mejosna, which will probably continue the story of the snake charmer in a different way. And we can look at how um, we can talk about it a bit, um, a bit more, uh, slightly earlier than seven o'clock if you all come, then we have a little poetry session that uh, will introduce a theater as a form and we can have an informal talk and a discussion around it. I also want to invite uh, Professor Manjuhash Mitra, who is here, to join us for that session to make it a bit more lively. Thank you. I enjoyed it very much. Kaiser rendered it beautifully. I'm a professor of Bengali. And I start, we studied uh, Mohua when as a student in our MA classes. Then I also taught it at the university. And Mohua is a very nice, and it is the centerpiece of Mahamun Sangitika. It is in, uh, discovered by Dr. Dinesh Chandra Shain. He was held by Chandra Kumar Day. And when uh, Kaiser put it very beautifully, Lajjanaire uh, Nilash Thakur, Lajjanaire Thor, then the answer was very sublime. And when uh, we study Mohua, there's other beautiful ballads there. Molua, uh, then Devana Modina, I love this very much. Chandravati Pala. Uh, that is the story of Jarchan and Chandravati, all are very full of tragedy, you know. And uh, in Molua is almost parallel to Mohua. Here again, Molua was tortured by the society, the beautiful girl, his, her love for Vinachat. It was uh, not satisfied, uh, you know, and at the end, she committed suicide by uh, submerging her boat in the Bill or Howard, that is the lake in Mormon Singh. Uh, uh, storm came and the beautiful girl, she was lost forever. So I enjoyed it very much, very beautiful and uh, very nice. Thanks. So many, many thanks. And please, if you'd like to be updated about, about our future events, please.